<laughs> okay, so in part one, I mentioned that the Electric Cub dates back to the late 80s. In fact, I actually built one back around uh, 1990 or so. And I use a RC car motor just like this. And I also use an electronic speed controller just like this. Uh, in fact, I think this is the exact speed controller I actually used back then. And I still have it. I don't know why, but there you go. Anyways, in those days there were no boost chargers, and so I was limited to using a 6 or 7 cell NICAD battery pack just like this. The old club flew okay, though I did get it stuck in a tree on the very first flight. I eventually repaired it and even upgraded to run on an 8 cell battery pack and a geared magnetic mayhem motor. This motor gearbox combo was very popular uh, back in the, in the day and uh, way before brushless motors were affordable. So out of curiosity, I weighed the old setup. First was the battery pack. Wow, one pound, one ounces. Then the old gearbox motor. Just over seven ounces, so about half a pound. So it comes in right at about 24 ounces, or about a pound and a half. Now to compare that with a new setup, which is only about 10 ounces, or much less than half the weight. No doubt, I think the new setup will fly much better. Now to see how much better. Flight day had some fairly brisk winds, so not an optimal day to be sure, but a good test for the little cub. With the 3S 2200 milliamp hour battery pack installed, it's off to brave the winds. Not only windy, but an almost direct crosswind. I'd have to take off across the runway. Wind looks good. All right, we'll give it a shot. But as it turned out, that would not be a problem. <laughs> and it's up in two feet. They took off so effortless. It made me happy. Very nice. In fact, I thought it was time for a song. Wee. All right, enough of the song and dance. Let's see what she's got. We'll go vertical. And she's got it where it counts, kid. It's a super cub. My old cub never had that much power. Up at altitude, I decided to throw the sticks in the corners to fling around some. <laughs> Go up to a stall turn. Oh, this is great stall turns. The rudder is surprisingly effective, able to flick the plane around with ease. Then I had an idea. See, I fly just rudder only. I noticed the rudder is real effective. Yeah, look at that. That is just rudder only. <laughs> rudder, a little bit of elevator. Whipped right around. Very nice. Even with ailerons, the cup maintains its rudder and elevator only heritage. I think it just might turn faster with rudder than with ailerons. <laughs> That's neat. <laughs> rudder only. <laughs> I could do this all day. A little breezy out, but it flies really nice. Look at this. We'll slow it down. Really nice, flies nice and slow if you want to. Aileron's a little mild, but it's a cub. So we can coax a roll out of it. Yeah, it's full ailerons, but nice, nice enough. It only takes a loop, oh look at that, easy. Inverted. <laughs> Inverter's not bad. It's a moderate amount of down elevator to keep it level, but it's got a flat bottom airfoil, so I'm not too surprised. Pretty nice. Whee! <laughs> 
Time to sneak in a touch and go. <laughs> and Piranha Coals for an unlimited vertical. <laughs> this thing's way overpowered. <laughs> Much different from my first cub. I think it could barely get out of its own way. Well, this is the 21st century. Ever see a cub hover? Well, you will now. It wasn't the happiest doing it, but it did get some significant hang time before falling off. With a nice spin on the way down. <laughs> then I had a request. Knife edge. <laughs> uh oh, the uh, crowd says knife edge. Will it do a knife edge? It will. Look at that. Ah, impressive little guy. Ha! <laughs> this thing is really fun. But I had one more thing to try. I'm trying to do a slip. Cross the controls, and it will do one of the nicest slips I've ever done in a model. Look at the slip, look at that. <laughs> That's neat. Well, all good things must come to an end, and it was time to land. I think it'll come down. But the wind had other ideas. Is it breezy today? <laughs> <laughs> the flying farmer. As they say, any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. Building and flying this electric cup has been better than I thought it would be. All too often we revisit something from our childhood and it's not nearly as great as we remember. Just try watching the old Knight Rider TV show now as an adult, for example. The old A-Team is still fun though. I, I think that show knew that it was at least cartoony. Anyways. This cup is that rare gem that is actually better than I remember. The paint scheme I chose is both unusual and great for visibility. And the, the, the Rimfire 25 allows me to bore holes in the sky or simply throttle back and fly for a long time on a 2200 milliamp hour battery pack. I'd almost say it has too much power, as it would easily fly in a much smaller motor. But there's no such thing as too much power. Yeah, America! As you saw, it is surprisingly aerobatic, despite the relatively mild roll rate. I'd say the performance and the grace it exhibited made it well worth the time I took to build it. 